Hello world, Shelly here, and with it as cold as it has been across much, dare I say, most of the United States right now, I thought it'd be a good time to update you on my winter skincare routine. Now, I'm just gonna walk through both my day and night routine right now. I'm not going to apply these things to my face, I don't have anything special about the way I apply them, and I've got many, many, many videos of me doing exactly that. So I wanted to put day and night into the same video. We're just gonna talk through everything I am currently using. I will say right up front, you don't have to have the variety of products that I have to have your own good, solid skincare routine. Part of the reason why I have as many variations as I do is because I try a lot of things for the purpose of reporting them here. I wouldn't have all of these things if I wasn't running a YouTube channel, so I, I try more things than I normally would. So do not think you have to copy this. Copy the 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 principles of the matter as opposed to duplicating every product I've got because you don't need this many, I promise you. You don't need this many. In fact, this is the pared down version of mine. Over the past couple of years, I've been kind of reducing what I was using because I was going a little overboard, especially with exfoliating acids and causing more irritation to my skin than was necessary. So I've actually cut back quite a bit, but you can find pretty much once or twice a year. Over the past eight years, I've got <laughs> videos of my updated skincare routine. So let's go through what I'm doing now. First up, because it's winter, my skin is extra dehydrated. Now, I'm gonna put out there, there's dry skin and dehydrated skin. And you could have one, you could have the other, you could have both. Hi, I have both. Dry skin is typically skin that doesn't produce a lot of oil or enough oil, the sebum in your skin. Dehydrated skin is skin that doesn't retain enough moisture. Both are problematic, both are uncomfortable, both can make your skin feel itchy and tight and, and flaky and dry. So I've got both. So that is where I'm coming at, at you from. So once a week, I do seven skins, and I've got a whole video on what it is, but essentially, you start with a bare face. I do this in the evening time when I'm going to do it, and use a hydrating mist of some kind or toner that does not have a ton of actives in it. My favorite is the COSRX, a brand new bottle. I just busted out brand new bottles of both of these. The Centella water, it's an alcohol-free toner, and it is basically Centella Asiatica, you know, tiger grass, rawr. You know me and my Centella Asiatica. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, you don't want something that's got glycolic acid or any exfoliating acids, or, you know, you're trying to avoid actives, you really just want something that's pretty much hydrating. Now, hyaluronic acid would be an exception. That would be fine. I'm pretty sure the Pixie Mist has hyaluronic acid in it. It does. It says it right there. <laughs> That's that's not what I'm, when I say acids, I mean your exfoliating acids, your AHA, your BHAs, your PHAs, you, you, your glycolic acids, those salicylic acid, you don't want those in a seven skins toner. You want something that's very gentle hydrating. And on bare skin, you basically in quick succession, put a layer all over your face, pat it in immediately, second layer, pat it in, immediately third layer, and you just keep going, you know, every 15, 30 seconds, you're putting a new layer on. If you get to seven, that's great. The first time I did this, I was able to put 13 layers of liquid on my skin and it was still absorbing. So the number seven is somewhat arbitrary. You basically wanna go until your skin is no longer absorbing the, the moisture. You know, it's full up, you know? And once it's full up, you stop and put on a good moisturizer and go to bed. And that's, that's the end of your skincare for that night. That is how I kind of replenish the moisture in my skin. And sometimes in the mornings I will do, I just call it three skins. I'll just do three quick layers before I do the rest of my skincare. Now, if you do this in the mornings, the thing is if you fill up your skin and it can't absorb anymore, then you might not have any room for the rest of your skincare. I never have that problem. My skin is so dehydrated, it is thirsty 24 seven. But these are two that I really like to do seven skins with. The COSRX is my favorite. Now for talking morning time. 
a typical day, just woke up. I don't do a full cleanse most mornings. I will sometimes splash my face, like if I did a heavy moisturizer the night before, I'll splash some water on my face and wipe it off. I then go in with a toner. Now, I like to get my vitamin C in this way. I like vitamin C, I like it in the mornings. It's good for pigmentation. So these are my old sunspots that like to pop up. The number seven radiance, I enjoy it. It smells kind of citrusy. I'm getting very low in my bottle, but this is what I use for my morning time toner. Now, ooh, nose itches. Then I go in with my bifida serum. Now, cat hair. This is, yes, I'm still using it. I'm pretty sure it's my third or fourth bottle now. I'm, I'm deep into using this. I replaced the, how am I unable to remember the name of it? The Lancome Advanced, can't remember it. It's already left my brain. I used it for years though. It's the same Bifida Ferment, same active ingredient. This one's less expensive, has a higher concentration of Bifida. And uh, after many, many experiments, it works just as well for me. So I've been using this one for over a year now. That is the first serum that I go in with in the morning. Then my second serum, I discovered this in Ireland this summer. You can get this in the US as well. It's also number seven, the Future Renew Damage Reversal Serum. This stuff, I can't say enough good things. I feel like it has made my skin so smooth, <laughs> like mind-blowingly. Within a week of using this, I was noticing improvement. And I didn't think I had that much to improve, but who boy, I did, I do. So I fell in love with this. This is my second bottle and I'm, I'm scared because you can't see anywhere how much is in here. I keep forgetting to weigh it when it's brand new so that I can compare the weight. So when this is empty, I need to weigh it. And so I know the empty weight versus the full weight because it's not cheap, it's like 40 bucks, but you can't really hear what's going on in there and you can't see what's going on in there, but I feel like it's getting close and it sputtered on me this morning and you know how you do it and you're like, no, no, don't be empty, don't be empty, you can't be empty right now. So that's, that's what I go through with this. So uh, getting ready to finish up my second bottle here. No, it'd be the third, the second, I don't know. I came home from Ireland with one. No, it is my third because I brought one home with me and this is the first one that I bought in the US. Yeah, third bottle's almost gone. But I get about three months out of a bottle of this. Uh, so it's not inexpensive, but kind of mind blowing in how good it is. So I do that serum. Since I loved that one so much, and then I had like a coupon burning a hole in my pocket, I decided to get the same line from number seven, but the eye cream, it's really more like an eye serum. It is an eye serum. It says so right there. <laughs> So I've been using this only for the past uh, maybe a month now. I haven't seen any like earth shattering changes, but my under eye was already in really good shape because of what I also use on my under eye morning and night. Uh, so I'll, I'll get back to you. I'm gonna say just initial impression, you don't need this because up until now I was using this under my eyes as well and it was fine. So I'll just throw this out there, but it is in my routine at the current moment. The magic for my under eyes, the thing that shocked me two years ago now, maybe three even, it's been a while. <sighs> Clarins Total Eye Lift. This stuff, so good, so good, so good, if you've never seen it before. Every so often, they just started last year and they did it again this year, they'll run this at Ulta for half off during their either their, their brand sale, like when they have a bunch of Clarence stuff on sale, or the 21 Days of Beauty, they will do this half off. I always buy two of them when it's half off to get me through like a whole year until the next time it's half off. So highly recommend doing it that way. Their website actually has good sales as well if you follow Clarence and get their newsletters. But this is why I have so much less fine line wrinkling going on under my eyes. If you look back at videos from four years ago, five years ago, my eyes look better now than they did then. And it's this, it is absolutely this. 
So yeah, this is holy, holy grail status for me. Introducing this was not to replace this. It would be in addition to. When I do, I put this first because this is a serum. This is like a moisturizer in terms of the consistency. But this stuff, if I had to have only, I'm going to have to say two things because I can't just pick one. If I only had two things on this whole table, they'd be right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's hard to say because there's one other thing I really love. Like really, really, really love. We'll get there. We'll get there. So after I do my eye cream, then we are talking moisturizer. Now, in the daytime, I use SPF moisturizer. I'm sorry if you live in the United States or can't access things that you can buy in Europe because you can't get this one in the U.S. It's from number seven, same line, Future Renew. This Peptycology ingredient, so number seven is the company that came up with Matrixel. So like you see like the Matrixel ingredient licensed in all different products all over the place because they, they sell it and make it available. They, number seven invented that. Number seven invented a new thing. It's called Peptycology. And I guarantee you within the next few years, they're going to keep it formulary for a while, I'm sure. But a few years from now, you're going to see Peptycology everywhere. It's the stuff that's in this serum. It's the stuff that's in here. So I like it for that reason. I also like it because it's got that. And that's not the reason why it's not in the U.S. It's not in the U.S., the sunscreen version, because it's using European sunscreen ingredients that are not approved in the U.S. I've already gone off on many tangents about how terrible... The United States is in terms of approving new, modern, comfortable sunscreen actives. So I won't go down that road again, but we are terrible at that. And so I buy my sunscreens when I go to Ireland and, I, and this one's amazing. And I'm so sad. I have one more jar left. So this one's like half empty and I've got one more, one more jar and then... I'm just gonna have to go back to Ireland. But you know what, I'm trying to maybe go see Dave Matthews there in April. Ah, Dave Matthews in Dublin, I would just die. I, I, my head would explode. It just, I'm trying, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But this is what I'm using for my current sunscreen. If you can't get your hands on this stuff, any sunscreen is fantastic. Like just wear your sunscreen, whatever it is, is your favorite. The uh, Purito, the daily go-to, is an awesome sunscreen that I enjoy. I do love, if I'm going to go mineral, which I usually don't, I prefer European chemical sunscreens, but if I'm going to go U.S., I will use mineral sunscreens, and the, the one that I like the most is the Good Molecules mineral sunscreen. There's there's one that I'm missing, and I get it on Yes Style. It's a, I can't think of it. I'm just, I'm just going to say. Whatever sunscreen you love, get it on your face. That's that's the main thing here. Now, I also use facial oils in the winter. That's one of the biggest differences between my summer and my winter skincare routines. And you may say, well, doesn't oil break down sunscreen? How can you wear them at the same time? Yeah, here's the thing. When you put your sunscreen on, put plenty on. Make sure you are just overdoing your sunscreen. Because if some of it's going to break down from your skincare, and that's not just putting oils on, that's just any oils that are in your skincare, uh, you want to make sure you've got enough product left that is unfazed to get your full stated level of SPF. The thing with the way SPF is tested, it's done like in a vacuum with no other ingredient interactions, and so we don't really know a whole lot about what the decrease in effectiveness would be. A couple other things you can do. You, you, maybe you avoid oils altogether, you know, go for it, but I'm not, I, my skin's way too dry to avoid oils. So I take other steps to reduce the impact of oils on my sunscreen. Here's what you can do. Now, if you are applying a chemical sunscreen, like this one, then apply your sunscreen as your last step of your skincare and give it 10 minutes before you put any other oils on your skin. If you're doing a mineral sunscreen, put your oils on first as the last step over whatever moisturizer you're wearing in your skincare routine, wait 10 minutes, and then put your mineral sunscreen on. Part of that time gives it time to either sink into your skin as, as the chemical sunscreens or letting your your skincare and your oils sink in before you put a mineral protective barrier on. So 
I do that. I basically put my sunscreen on as my last step of my skincare. Then I get dressed and I feed the cats. And by the time I get to my vanity, then I can put oils on as my last step. So as my oils in the wintertime now, I do the Merit Serum pretty much year round. It has become, in this past year, one of my favorite things. This is the Great Skin Serum. It's like an oil, it's like a biphase. I tried not to shake it up so you can see how like how it looks when it's like separated. And then you shake it up and then you use it and it's wonderful. You've seen me use my Super Duper Mini. I keep this one in my bathroom and I keep this one on my vanity. So uh, <laughs> this only comes out when they have the gift sets and it's such a cute little perfect little thing for my vanity that I keep, get this if you get it next time. They only run it in the like holiday season typically. In the last year, the last two years anyway. So this is the Merit Great Skin Serum. Sometimes I go with this. If I'm feeling extra, super extra dry, I go with a facial oil. Now I make my own, but I didn't always make my own. So before that I just used like Good Molecules as a really nice squalane oil. I love squalane. One of the best skincare ingredients you can put into your routine. I make a squalane and agave oil. Uh, one of the things as far as oils go, a lot of times you'll see the recommendation that you put them on after your moisturizer. And that's because depending what kind of oils are in the oils, the size of those molecules, it can either be a barrier and prevent other things from soaking into your skin, or it can be a carrier, smaller molecules that can penetrate the skin. Now I make sure that the oils in my blend here are carrier oils, so I could put this underneath moisturizer if I wanted to, like at nighttime, and sometimes I do. In the daytime though, because I'm using a chemical sunscreen, this is my last step of my skincare, give it at least 10 minutes, get to my vanity, then I apply my facial oil, whether it is a squalane oil or like the Merit Great Skin Oil. When I'm putting makeup on, I typically opt for the Merit Great Skin because it's got some like a glowy factor to it. This is more of my preferred evening time oil. This one's really, really pretty as a primer. Like I love it under foundation. So this is my primary daytime oil. And this is more often my nighttime oil, though today I knew I wasn't going to do a full face. I'm staying home. It's cold. It's been snowing. The roads were going to be garbage outside. So I went with this one because it's, it's a bit thicker. It's a bit heavier. And I wanted that. <laughs> so even though it's lightweight oil, apricot oil is my, uh, my base. My, my base, no, grapeseed, grapeseed oil. What do I use apricot oil for? Now I can't remember. Anyway, moving on. That's the morning time. Now, I'll throw one more thing in, daytime. I also make a Bakuchiol cream and I love it as primer because it just, it's nicely smoothing and I love Bakuchiol, which is a plant-based alternative to retinols. It still needs some more studies to be done on it, but early studies are indicating that it has a lot of the same capabilities as retinols, like stimulating collagen production, a lot of the things that we're looking for in anti-aging types of, of, of products. So, uh, and, and the best part of it is that it's got little to no irritation, the way retinols can irritate some people. I'm actually considering, we'll talk about this for nighttime, ditching my tretinoin and running with just Bakuchiol in the evenings for a little while. But I will use, use this after the oils as a primer in the mornings sometimes. But this mostly lives in my nighttime routine. So nighttime. Evening, it's time to wash the makeup off. Time to wash your face. <sighs> Cleansing balms. I have several videos testing out lots and lots of them. I'm currently using the Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I love Belief. They're one of my favorite brands of skincare. They're, uh, why is my brain not working today? Not the Aqua Balm, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I'm like, they were one of my very first favorite high-end moisturizers. Uh, they make a great cleansing balm. It is scented but it smells wonderful. It's kind of like a minty spa scent. I like it. Uh, so this is the cleansing balm I'm currently using. That's my first cleanse. Then I go in for a second cleanse. The cleanser I'm currently using is from Ole Henriksen. It's the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. It smells like oranges and I like it. 
so that's my second cleanse. Once my face is cleansed, we go with the Bifida Serum, which I showed you is also in my morning routine. Then, now like I said, I've been thinking about switching this out. I still have, I have one more bottle of Curology. This is my tretinoin prescription and it's Curology and I love them, been with them for, oh my gosh, it's been several years now. I would need to go back and check for sure. Pretty sure we're at like four to five years now. Tretinoin 0.02%, azelaic acid 5%, and niacinamide 4% is my super bottle from my prescription. I only do tretinoin three-ish times per week in the evenings. Uh, when I'm not doing tretinoin, I will do a Bacuchiol instead, but I think I'm going to try taking a break from the tretinoin because I do tend to go overboard and I think that's the source of a lot of my peeling. And... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it because science. Uh, so I would either go in with my tretinoin if it's one of the three nights a week I'm doing it, or I would go in with Bacuchiol, or, you know, I've got some random retinols, like Good Molecules makes a good one. I had the Drunk Elephant one for a while. I've stopped, I use, I, Drunk Elephant was one of my favorite brands, but then I kind of just got this feeling that they're really expensive and I'm not seeing results that are any better than the less expensive options. I love their branding though. They're, they were a hard one to give up. They were a hard one to give up because I didn't have any reason to give them up other than price. Like, I love their branding, I love their packaging, their products work really well for me, but I've, I haven't bought them in a long time. <sighs> but I love them. So if you love them, go right ahead. They're, they, I love them, I can't lie, I do love them. So if I did my tretinoin, which is not a moisturizer, I would follow it with my favorite nighttime moisturizer. Oh, I'm so many jars into this, and I was going to say, I think I hit pan on this one. We are, I have a backup though. I always buy these two at a time as well, because they will go on sale, yeah, Sephora, whatever, but Ole Hendrickson's website, they go on sale as well. Uh, so I keep an eye on those because I tr they're expensive. <laughs> They're expensive. My skincare routine is not cheap, but it's good. So yes, strength trainer, peptide, moisturizer. I love, 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 love this one. But like I said, Belief True Cream Moisturizer Moisturizing Balm. Also not expensive, but also a fantastic moisturizer. This one I'm loving though. This is I've been I've been on this one for at least a year now. Pretty sure it's been at least a year now. I'm 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 several jars in. Then I would go in with my lip mask. I am currently using the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. I wear this during the daytime too, underneath whatever lip products I'm wearing because it's awesomely hydrating. My lips, even when I'm taking care of them, like right now I'm taking very good care of them, and yesterday they cracked and peeled just all over. So even when I'm trying to hydrate and I think I'm doing well, they're a wreck. I need this stuff. Morning, day, and night. So that is in the evening time. I don't mix Bacuchiol and Retinols or Tretinoin at any time. They are both pretty powerful actives. I don't want my skin to be irritated. One other nice thing about Bacuchiol as opposed to Retinols is that it doesn't cause the sun sensitivity that Retinols can. If you're using Retinols in the evening or Tretinoin, retinoids, you want to make sure that you are very, very conscious about wearing your sunscreen the following day. Uh, you don't really have to worry so much with sun sensitivity and Bacuchiol. You're still going to wear your sunscreen every day, but you don't have to worry about it being additional intrusion on your life. I also wear oils in the evening time. Now, if you were using a facial oil that has larger molecules that are not carrier oils, then you would want your oil to go after your moisturizer. Now, if you if you know that your oil, if you look through all your ingredients on your facial oil and you see that they're all smaller molecule oils that, that will not prevent any other skincare from soaking in, or if you're just using like a straight up moisturizer that doesn't really have actives in it, this has a bunch of peptides in it, but like the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer, that whole line, the Holy Hydration line is fantastic. 
but it's less of actives and more of just a straight up moisturizer. If that's the case, then you don't really have to worry about penetration because you're just using both of them as sort of a protective layer to keep the moisture in your skin. But I know that this one could go either way because it's lightweight carrier oil that can penetrate the skin. So if I want it under the moisturizer, I could do it that way. If I want it after, I could do it that way. I usually put my oils on last just out of habit, I suppose. But like I said, in the daytime, the exception to that would be if you're using a mineral sunscreen, like let's say you've got, this is the this is the Good Molecules one I was talking about, the sheer mineral, sun, mineral sunscreen from Good Molecules. Uh, if you're using something like this, you are going to want to put your facial oils on as the last step of your skincare and give it a good 10 plus minutes and then put your mineral sunscreen on your face. That, my friends, is my skincare routine. That is how it is shaken down as, as we're freezing over here. It's been single digit cold, like way too cold, way colder than it's supposed to be, way below normal. By the time you see this, midweek, midweek next week, early, I'm not sure it'll be mid or early, you're gonna see it when we will finally be inching back toward the 40 degree mark. And I think, in the forecast anyway, mid to late next week, which is gonna be right around when this posts, there's supposed to be a couple of 50 degree days. And I need them, my soul needs them. Because this cold snow, I'm not built for this. Everyone's like, you're from Chicago. Yeah, I don't live there anymore and that's very intentional. <laughs> And a large part of the reason I don't is because I don't like cold weather. I'm pointing at the window. The window behind you where the cold is. <laughs> it's not for me. It's not for me, y'all. Even here is too cold for me. I would have moved to Vegas. Vegas was high on my list of wanting Vegas. I would have moved to... Oh, Austin. A little Austin, Texas action. I would have. I would have moved to Arizona. Uh, Vegas or Austin is probably where I would have loved to move. But my mom insists on four seasons. So this is as far south as I could get here in Virginia. <laughs> I tried, y'all. I tried. It's okay, though. We're going to make it. We're going to survive till Monday when, the, when it starts to get above 20. I think Monday it's still supposed to be like 28. Maybe it's Tuesday, it's gonna be 40. Oh, just please, just at least give me the 40s. Please, please, please. There you have it. That's my skincare update for the winter time. Let me know in the comments, what are you doing? What am I missing? Do I need to go back to my exfoliating acids? I do still every couple weeks I'll do like a glycolic serum or I have a lot of peach and lily. Like peach and lily has some really nice um, exfoliating. It's like a cream serum. I should have brought it and showed it to you. It's in my bathroom. It's a really nice exfoliating serum that doesn't irritate my skin too much. I just don't want to get back into the habit of going too far and irritating my skin because when my skin's happy and it's not flaking so much, I'm happy. You know? So that's how I'm rolling right now. Could be a totally different story in the summer. I'll keep you posted. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over skincare with me this time. Let me know, what are you enjoying? What do I need to check out? What do I need to do to keep my routine rolling with the latest and the greatest? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over skincare with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.